Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Don't Worry, Be Happy. And I'm kind of working off the Bobby McCarron version. And we end up cabling this on a fourth fret to match the recording. But we're going to start off walking through some things in root position. And we start off on a G major chord. And we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the low E string, third fret. And third finger on the high E string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord that sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third, and strumming all those together. And that's another way you may want to play your G through the song. And then from the G, we'd be going to an A minor chord. A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. And while you're on A minors, it can be kind of cool to lift off the third finger and maybe then an A minor 7. Or you can take the pinky and add it on the high E third for an A minor 7. Or if you kind of dig on that other G voicing, you could use an A7 sus. So this is playing against the tune slightly, but you could do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. You kind of use that for your A. And then from the A minor, we're going to go to a C major chord. And then we play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string second, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. And while you're on C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that a C major seven. Or you can take the pinky and kind of put it on the B string third for a C major nine. Or another way to play C major nine is to do first finger on the D string second, second finger on the A string third, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major nine. It sounds really, really happy. <laughs> and from the C, we go back to G. And you could stay on G, but there's this cool little halving idea kind of there where you do G to a C, and then a G to a C. There's a couple different strumming options you may want to play around with too. You could do kind of a four down count or eight down count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each chord. And if you're just starting out, that might be kind of a cool way to do it, or you can make it really sneaky that way. And when you get to the G and C, you might want to do just four on each one. You know, G, two, three, four, C, G, C. But one of my favorite strum patterns for a four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the G and just tried that a lot. You have down. part is where you got the G's and C's and you could do just a down down up on each of those chords if you wanted to get that in there or you can half it different ways so you could do kind of a G with a down and a down C on the up up down might be kind of a cool way to kind of work it too G down C on the up up down so we tried that through our main verse chorus you'd have the G down up Now the weird part is instead of starting on a G major chord, I'll be fair and starting on a B major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, then now your G is really a B major chord, your A minor is really a C sharp minor chord, and the C major is really an E major chord. But you could work just that kind of that down idea, kind of G, G. times on that first down of the down down up up down up you throw in a bass for the chord so on the G you have O E for the bass on the A minor you have the A for the bass and on the C you have the A for the bass and when we get to that halving part you can do it as kind of a bass down up bass down up kind of idea or you can just add to the bass into the halving kind of G with the bass down C up up down G with the bass down C up up down so we tried it that way 
Joy. You know, G. sounds like in the recording is something called a reggae feel and normally in a reggae piece what you would do is kind of a bass and then a down up and then kind of kill the strings with your right hand and then you do another down and then kind of kill the strings so it's kind of a bass down kill it down bass down kill it down bass down kill it down and the weird part is where we got that gc happening you may want to do kind of the bass down up on the g and then do the down on the c Bass, down, and then C. So if we tried it that way, we have the G, G, an A minor, A minor, C, G, C, G, C, G. ideas can be very cool too, you know, so you might want to kind of experiment a little bit and kind of see what works for you. Or if you know they're looking around these chords too. Don't worry, be happy about Bobby McFerrin. So good luck.